Oh, y'all yeah, back with another video. Sorry, I was reacting to a Michael Jackson video prior to this. But anyway, we reacting to why Certified Lover Boy sucks. Oh my god. I got mixed emotions about the album. It was decent. It got some good songs and it got some songs where I just skip, you know. It's just but I am I'm a big Drake fan. Six guy. Oh, 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 oh. But yeah, but let, before we get into the video, make sure y'all subscribe, join the guys squad, turn on post notifications. And boy, boy, did I forget? Let's get it. <laughs> Hey. All right, I'm just gonna come right out and say, hey. Certified Lover Boy really sucked. Oh my now, god! Now when Drake came out with a pair of testicles shaved into his head, my hopes for a classic <laughs> immediately went out the window. But the extent to how bad this album is <laughs> was shocking even to me. Shit. I thought with a title like Certified Lover Boy, well, like, we were at least gonna get some sexy, sexy weekend bro. type shit. But no, what do we get? Weak bars like "Girl, I'm a Lesbian" too, and just some genuinely horrendous production choices. Mm. The thing is, Drake is more than capable of making good music. I mean, just listen to this. But I struggle to think of anything I liked about this album. I'm not expecting Drake to redefine how I mean, we hear Drake sound, but this is everything right? wrong with mainstream music. It's overly long, it's repetitive, and the sheer amount of songs solely made for radio play is insulting way too sexy the song deserves a section all to itself it's like up there the with ratchet happy birthday is drake's worst song it's your, oh, wow. it's your birthday it's your fucking birthday <laughs> now i could talk about way too sexy's lackluster verses from future and young thug or how mm. they really tried to turn this sample into a hard rap anthem but if we're going with the assumption that Drake is in I mean, on the, the joke and cold, knows though. the song is awful, that just makes it even more embarrassing. This is Certified Lover Boy's lead single, the track Drake wants to go number one on the charts. Which one is that? The fact that he has to resort to making a cringy exactly. song just to get people to blow it up on TikTok really speaks volumes about his approach to music. It's so uninspired and lazy. Is that really the best you can do wow. to get people oh my talking? God, you sound like a hater this track this alone point. takes the album from a pretty forgettable experience to the big day levels of garbage. Of course, the only thing worse than way too sexy yeah, this video, bro. Yeah. So I guess Drake is trying to make a joke about how people view him as soft because he sings in his music and has a clean public image, except it doesn't land. Let's look at another video that does what Way Too Sexy tried to do. Industry Baby by Lil Nas X. Everyone knows about the so-called controversy surrounding Lil Nas. Mm -hmm. Every time he releases new music, he's accused of promoting a gay agenda by, um, these people. The video is funny not only because of the ridiculous imagery, but also because its mere existence Sheesh. sets off all these snowflakes. Even if you don't like it, you get the joke. It's clearly a self-parody, and we understand who he's making fun of. <laughs> now let's look at Way Too Lazy. It's not like every time Drake drops a song, there's a debate over whether his music is too soft for the rap game, especially not in 2021. Mm. Drake has this dated idea that people give a shit that he sings, but really it's just the fact that he comes off like a fucking pussy. You know, uh, I'm so <laughs> sick of people saying <laughs> that, uh, that I'm like lonely and emotional and like associating me with this like longing for a woman or sad guy yeah, yeah i hate that man it bothers me so much because i don't make the you know like i i do make i do make music that makes you feel something but you know i i just don't like i'm actually not that guy in real life i'm very happy you know i'm very i'm <laughs> I'm, I'm not content by any means i mean i want to keep working but i'm a happy person you know i'm very excited my life is my life is constantly exciting it's not some sad depressing story so mm. um who gives a shit anyway all this music video amounts to absolutely. is drake trying to get away with a bad song by pointing out that it is in fact bad it's so boring oh my god it's kind of become a cliche at this point to call drake's music dull but in the case of certified lover boy it couldn't be true there are only two types of songs on this album there are the songs where drake talks about a relationship he has with a girl and then there are the songs where drake calls out his haters seriously guys test mm. this out with any track the only exceptions mm. to the rule are the first and last songs on the album where drake talks about both topics at the same time so i guess they broke new ground now this could maybe work if the album was really short, but Drake even fucked that up. There are so many tracks for no fucking reason. Did they not learn from Scorpion? The album has 21 songs, and you've got tracks about the same petty bullshit back to back. 
The worst example of this are the songs Love All and Fair Trade, which both fit into the second category of songs where Drake calls out his haters. So Love All is about people turning their backs on Drake for no good reason. And then Fair Trade is about how Drake's been losing friends and finding peace. See what I mean? The only difference between the two tracks is that one features a verse from Jay-Z and the other features a verse and production from Travis Scott. The sad thing is that there's such an easy fix here that would instantly make the album more memorable. I want, All you I, have I to do is want delete Love All some music and get Jay to do his verse on how, the Travis song. Sound, but nah, the album's gotta be longer so we can get those streams up. You get to the end of it, and you haven't learnt anything new about Drake. We already know he has a son. We already know he has a beef with Kanye. Just look at a song like No Friends in the Industry. You get drizzy on a track, here, put you on a map, oh, it's like that, hey, yeah, it's like that, hey. Sure, it has a nice beat, but the thing is, I don't care, because all Drake is talking about are these anonymous haters who, for some vague reason, want him to lose his spot. He's been talking about this shit for albums and albums, but has it ever actually affected him? No, so it's why should ass. I care? It made him These are barely important. even songs. They're just random bars strung together. He opens the album with saying Daddy's Home and then follows it up with a bunch of songs that he are gonna scare no one. On Drake obviously doesn't have enough going on in his life to justify extra. making a full length album. So what we get is an hour and a half of filler. He really Still said, instead of coming up with unique concepts, I'm just gonna write individual songs for each of the women I've what been What it sounds like to me is you're, you're One track will be about a girl who broke his heart then he'll talk about a girl who he likes, but he can't the trust. At the same time. Then he'll do a little bit of flexing, rinse and repeat. Which brings me to my next point. Some Drake just comes off as a massive fucking hypocrite throughout the entire album, and not in a knowing or even relatable way. On all of these wildly memorable songs, Pipe Down, Race My Mind, Get Along Better, he's whining about how all these different girls, just for some strange reason, you have this reputation of sleeping around. I mean, you brag about it on half the tracks, Oh, and it's literally the title of the fucking album. But then you rap on all these songs about how these women won't commit to you or don't love you. And well, it's like, yeah, yeah I, I wonder why. Now. Are you really that delusional? Then mm. Drake has the audacity to put out this statement the day the album drops about how it's all about breaking down toxic masculinity. <laughs> oh, it's about the acceptance of truth. And it's like, no, it's fucking oh, not. You clearly yeah. just put that statement out on the front of iTunes to dismiss this exact criticism without putting in any of the work in the actual music. Keep in mind that Way Too Sexy nowhere. is the lead single of this album, a song where the punchline of Drake's verse is about how he's going to throw this girl back into poverty after he fucks all of her friends. Even if we take that song's lyrics as ironic, it's not exactly funny. Mm -hmm. On top of that, the next song TSU, which is mid-tempo and obviously very sincere in its presentation, Features this line. I give you this prayer, you run me some head and then you go blow up a bit. Do I even need to say more? Oh, mm. but Mentrum. Right at the end of the album, there's a song where Drake talks about how he's sorry about all the mistakes he's made. Alright, I take back everything I've said. This is actually a genius concept album. Wow. Give me a break. This one song, which is called Fucking Fans, no, that's actually the title, isn't deconstructing toxic masculinity. It's not even addressing how he's a hypocrite. All Drake's saying is sorry to this one specific girl for fucking his fans when he should have been trying to start a real relationship with her. And then on the album closer, he's like, yeah, I want the strings to stay unattached unless you leave your boyfriend. And it's like, come on, bro, just move on. You could say uh, that The Weeknd sings about all of this shit and says, for the most part, we're not supposed to be cheering on Abel as he indulges in that lifestyle. He goes out of his way to talk about the emptiness and paranoia he ultimately feels. In regards to Drake, I could really care less about how many women he raps about fucking with. Go crazy. I have an issue though <laughs> when he starts blaming other people for his relationship issues without a shred of self-awareness or accountability. Ultimately, my biggest problem with Certified Lover Boy is that ironically, it's completely emotionless. Aside from boredom, I don't feel anything. Whether that be excitement, sadness, joy, what do you, feel? you know, the feelings what that you get when you're experiencing you feel, a valuable piece of entertainment. But I guess that stuff doesn't matter at all. Really People will just eat to. this shit up because it's Drake. Look at these 10 out of 10 reviews, even though they will probably never listen to the album all the way through ever again. Listen, we all know that this album is going to make a lot of money. And then in about two or three years time, there will be a new Drake album. And on it, there will be a song where he talks about all the people who wanted him to fall off because he's a singer or because he lost a rat beef or whatever reason he believes to be true at the time. Mm -hmm. But honestly, Drake, you can miss me with all of your endless insecurities about your faceless haters. Because you know, at the end of the day, all I really wanted was some good music. You should make an album called Truth. 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 
he just like talk about something. So down below, I have a link to my Patreon. Nope, you you did too much, Aiden. <laughs> but if y'all enjoyed this video, make sure y'all like, give it a comment. But I ain't hating on you at all. I, I actually it was entertaining. I like your editing, all that good video. I can see your point of view. Some of it was valid. Some of it seemed like hatred, kinda. But if it wasn't, maybe I'm just sensitive or something. But um, yeah, if y'all enjoyed this video, make sure y'all leave a like. Join the guys, squad, subscribe. Catch y'all on the next video. Give me more video suggestions. Turn on post notifications too. And come on, do it with me.